Hi, I'm Dan. I'm your not so typical mediocre med student vlogger here in the Philippines. I give you my heart. I post videos about how med school is like having gap years, issues with age in medical school, what it's like to be married in med, or simply taking your time and choosing to enjoy the road to MD journey. You guys know that I've been busy lately. I have had um, little to almost zero time to film or even edit and upload my videos. You guys know that I'm going through a transition from working for RITM into moving into a more um, busy environment like the UP Philippine General Hospital. I'm trying to find time in between quarantine weeks wherein we spend two weeks or 14 days doing absolutely nothing at home waiting for symptoms to probably surface. Comment down below if you are interested in seeing more videos of how life is like as a frontliner nurse during this COVID pandemic. Not that it's a good thing. And you may also comment more video suggestions, may it be med related or not. I love that you guys interact with me, whether it be on Instagram or on Facebook. Some of you guys even message me through Twitter, which I'm not really active in. So anyways, I'm back with another video. Today, I thought of um, doing this video. So I'm preparing for my first week with the Philippine General Hospital. I recently learned that I was assigned to the hemodialysis unit. I'm not sure how it will go, but with the orientation that happened just this morning, um, I got a glimpse of how I should prepare. So I thought of doing this video entitled, What's in my Frontline and Backpack? But before that, I would like to insert a few clips. I bought a bike. Yeah, I did a few days ago because I thought of instead of commuting or waiting for the public transport offered by the Department of Health and the OTR, I thought of driving myself to work instead. Ayan, check out my new bike. My new bike's name is Romy. After Kuya Romy. I don't know why I'm sweating like crazy. I'm currently at the lobby. Here's the bike. Oh my god. <laughs> now let's go to the video. So this is my bag. It's a regular Nike bag. I never thought I'd be using this during this season. It's something very basic, as you can see. <laughs> it has two side pockets, a front pocket, two compartments, and nothing basically at the back. But I would like to show you one thing. You see here are supposed to be straps, and I thought of taping it. It wouldn't be just lying on the floor, scraping all the dirt off wherever I put my bag. Yeah, let's go to the side pockets first. So at this side, I brought this um, water bottle. This isn't branded or anything. It's just a regular water bottle that I've been using since med school. And it keeps my water warm if I want it warm or cold if I want it cold for almost half of half the day. So that's convenient. On the other pocket, I have a bottle of Lysol. But to make sure the IWs won't mistaken it for something um, owned by the hospital, I put my name on it just to be sure and a bottle of alcohol. It's not the biggest bottle available, but then I think this is enough um, I'll buy a new one soon. I decided to put it in the side pocket so it would easily be accessible When I carry it on my backpack and the front pockets, you see I have three Three ball pens sticking out. I have the red blue and black ones. This morning I was oriented on how to document for medications and vital signs taking, taking orders and stuff. I realized that we wouldn't be writing a lot because it would um, interfere with a lot of the protocols, especially contact contamination. I know sign pens aren't allowed for charting, but then when you're just going to be ticking some boxes and not really writing on them, I think um, gel pens will be okay. I also got with me a tickler. I also got myself a calculator, small calculator, just in case we'll be doing any computations. Awesome lozenges. So I'm, I'm a person who really feels dizzy, especially when I've been wearing a mask all day. 
So I pop in a few lozenges just before donning the mask and it does wonders for me. I have here my purse, coin purse. I'll be bringing very, very little money since I won't be spending at all unless I decide to order for milk tea. I bought this this morning before going home. It's a 3M micropore. So how am I going to use this? I just take the micropore. So after cutting three pieces, I, I line them on the areas which where I will be placing the masks. Then I take this 3M 1860S um, N95. The proper way of donning this is to lean forward with two um, front fingers placed on the metal nose clip over your face. Then take the front, the upper strap, secure it just around the crown area of your head, and you take the lower strap and put it directly at the nape here. Adjust the straps, make sure it's comfortable, and there you have it. You're ready for an entire day at the COVID ward. So the proper way of doffing an N95 mask, um, the first thing you do is to make sure you perform hand hygiene, of course, and always remember that the last strap you put in is the first strap you take off. So being sure to be holding only the straps. Carefully take that out. Second, you take the upper strap out and make sure you discard this in the yellow hazardous material bag. Um, you will also notice that I have a utility lock at the strap of my bag, but I will show you later on what this is for. So in the front compartment, you will see that I placed a lot of personal stuff in here. I got myself an extra pack of N95s. I have a pack of tissue and, and cleansing wipes. I hope they're antibacterial. A good fragrance mist and face powder. That's all I'm gonna need. I make sure I bring my own utensils. It is very ha handy, especially when you're handed a pack of food and with no utensils. Then I have my power bank. This can accommodate um, 25,000 milliamperes. Something this big can actually charge my iPad for three times and my phone for like four times. I have my eyeglasses with me. These are my work eyeglasses. I also brought, bought my own bottle of Safeguard hand wash because in the absence of a soap and when a soap is an ideal in a public place, you have to bring your own soap. Some, um, a bottle of vitamin D, but if I were to be honest, this is not just vitamin D. I also included vitamin C with a thousand milligrams and my daily dose of multivitamins. Lastly, I have my migraine pack. I suffer from really bad migraine and I'm severely photosensitive. I have first eye drops, which I got from Landers. I think it only cost me around a dollar and a half, 75 pesos, not bad. I also have this um, thigh inhaler named Poishian. Uh, relief of vertigo. It's eucalyptus oil, basically. This was given to me by my med school classmate, Andrew Garalza of Batangas, future mayor of Lipa, Batangas. I have my Calpol with me, Panadol, but it was recently phased out and it's too obvious that Calpol renamed it for some reason. And I have my eye mask, which I got from Qatar Airways for free. You'd never want to see the light during a migraine attack, right? And on the last compartment of my bag, 
Oh, I have this thermal flask. I mentioned that I have this other water bottle with me, but this one, I plan to put two things. Either I choose to hydrate myself on a daily basis or keep myself healthy by boosting up my immune system. No coffee for me. It only triggers my headaches in a workplace where you cannot be maarte or you cannot be sicker than your own patients. Aside from that, I have a pack of food. I have some Quaker oats. I have the fruits and nuts and some tropical fruit mix something. I hate the flavor. I have my favorite coffee, which is Maxine, a Korean coffee. I have some food bars. I can't say they're food replacements, but then we know when you need food. I also have um, a lot of tea, more tea, more tea. Oh, tea. I also got this from Landers the other day. It Cafe Latori. I think it's a Japanese brand. And this one is actually caramel macchiato. That's interesting. One other thing I added to this pack, little sachets of Tolak Angin. I think it's an Indonesian brand. It's an herbal supplement. It has no approved therapeutic claims whatsoever. It just says here that it's a combination of some herbs, mint and honey which they say can boost your immune system and keep you up and going for the entire day. It's somewhat a concoction of an energy drink. I have my favorite Uniqlo jacket. Of course, the popular reversible Uniqlo jacket that I've been using in most of my videos in the past. I also have a small pocket here that has my iPad, iPhone wire for, for charging. First generation AirPods which I keep fully charged. As much as possible, I don't use my conventional earphones that come in wires because, you know, the struggle of having wires and having a COVID pandemic and just having everyone contaminate your stuff, picking up the dirt and you take it home and ugh. I have my toiletry bag. Upon orientation, I was told that we were, um, we were supposed to take baths before going home on a daily basis we will be given scrub suits that we use for the entire shift and just before we leave we discard it for the cssd to sterilize or something uh, i have here my toothbrush and my toothpaste some um, personal stuff i also have here my foldable towel it, i know i know takes about with a towel like this but it's actually really big once you unfold it it's actually designed for traveling it dries up so quickly i actually use this during our trip to some block some balas just before the lockdown it does the job i have here a bottle of safeguard body wash i also bought a bottle of um anti-dandruff shampoo and conditioner um, wearing a PPE the entire day will really dry up your body so it's good to know that I found a product that has both a shampoo and conditioner um, with argan oil so it helps reduce any formation of dandruff by just hydrating your, your scalp. I also brought a natural deodorant stick. Yeah, I don't use the regular deodorant when I'm at home. So the idea that after duty, I would be coming home to sleep, I, I just want to bring a stick of this one. A bottle of lotion, which I'm not sure where it came from. What else do I have? I have my brush. I have a bottle of Cetaphil, so I wouldn't... I'm using an iPhone! <laughs> This is a gentle skin cleanser. You don't really need to apply moisturizer, but it's a good idea to apply moisturizer. But then when you're going to sleep, it's best if you don't put anything. Aside for that, I have, of course, Women's Secret. And last but not the least, Betadine Gargo. Betadine is specifically made for this infection. You know, is an oral solution of an antiseptic so i'll go for this one over any other mouthwash in the market 
lastly, I promise you guys, I tell you what this is for. It's for this my handy dandy helmet. I thought of buying myself some, some protection. So <laughs> this at the back, it just doesn't come off. Mm. Okay, I'm good. Just snap it onto this lock, and this just stays in, the, just stays on whole day, and I keep it in my locker. So that's all for today. I promise to keep you guys updated with med and even non-med related videos. I'm just so thankful that you guys have been so supportive and understanding. The DMs and the video requests are overwhelming as usual. And I promise to make it up with everyone as soon as this COVID pandemic is over, matatapos na ang mission ng ate nyo, and I'm going back to regular editing and uploading. I would like to thank Dr. Rosemary Apostol Dental Clinic for keeping my smile vlog ready and you can find her clinics over at a few blocks away from FU and RMF in Fairview and along Mindanao Avenue in Quezon City. And for all your NMAT reviewers, since we are experiencing this ECQ and there is no way we are going to go to review centers, for all your NMAT reviewer needs, if you need reviewers from NSA, the question and answers, the rationale, the entire set, reviewers from UP Link, post tests from PICS or PICS, Learn Fast reviewers, PowerPoints for chemistry, social sciences, and physics, or even the 2019 CEM practice test and rationale for NMAT. You can find that all here in this Instagram page. It is the NMAT100PH. So visit that Instagram page for a 10% discount for every subscriber. Just use my code, which is hashtag medlifecrisis and mat10. That's hashtag medlifecrisis and mat10 for a 10% discount which will access you to, up to absolutely everything you need to self-review this lockdown season. So that's it for today. I hope you guys subscribe if you're new to my channel and keep commenting down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!